writing of Otto West Nepean has been liberal since 2003, when now Mayor Jim Watson was elected as the Liberal MPP. In 2010, Bob Shirelli took over the riding, and it's been his ever since. Yet with the Liberals falling in the polls, his seat at Queen's Park is now in jeopardy. Jeremy Roberts is a Conservative candidate in the riding, and he said his support has been growing. I'm somebody new, I'm somebody young, fresh, I've got new ideas. I think it's time for that change to, to say we need to shift away from the legacy of Kathleen Wynne to something different, something more affordable and more sustainable. Robert's candidacy in the riding did not come easy. He originally lost the candidacy to Carmen McGregor by only 15 votes. The nomination was then overturned by interim leader Vic Fidelli after local officials said 28 more ballots were counted than there were registered voters. Nobody else put their name forward and Roberts immediately won. His platform is doing more for people with autism. His brother Dylan, who is only a year younger than Roberts, has both autism and epilepsy. Roberts said the start of his brother's life was challenging and as a result he would have behavioral issues and seizures. Doctors at CHEO were telling us that my brother needed to be placed in a respite care home, which could provide kind of a 27-hour care that someone like my brother needed. Problem was, the price tag for that was a staggering $85,000 per year, a cost that no family could ever dream to afford. On top of that, he would also like to see more done to help fix the long wait times in Ontario hospitals, and would like to see more nurses in long-term care homes, Two messages he said he is hearing constantly at the doors. Locally, Roberts is in support of the second phase of LRT and said he would like to see it continue to be expanded past Algonquin College into Ottawa West Nepean. Uh, this is going to be something incredibly important in this community. I mean, having grown up here, I commuted here to downtown almost every single day for work when I was growing up. And frankly, I've been waiting for LRT for years. And so I'm really quite excited that uh, we've committed to that. And He also said he would like to see more done to help combat Ottawa's opioid epidemic and said he has recently sat down with drug activist group We The Parents. Robert said he feels more money should be put in towards the Guns and Gangs unit, especially at a time a lot of guns and gang activity have been going on in parts of Ottawa West Nepean, like the Caldwell and Bayshore areas. Ontario PC leader Doug Ford said he is not in support of safe injection sites, yet Robert said he is open to exploring the possibility. I tend to be someone, I always want to follow the evidence. I've heard a lot of good, uh, good reports coming out of some jurisdictions that are using synthetic replacement therapies in some of their safe injection sites. Perhaps that's the model we need to be looking at. But the election is just a few days and Caroline Mulrooney, the daughter of former Prime Minister Brian Mulrooney, stopped by to go door knocking with Roberts on the day of our interview. The Liberals only won in Ottawa West Nepean by less than 5,000 votes over the Conservatives in the 2014 election, and this year it's expected to be even closer. Charlie Cenac, TWIN News, Ottawa.